What a wonderful day to review Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Covenant, you're calling Raven. Payback time. Come on! Come with me if you want to live. You just don't turn it off! Many years after the reign of Caesar, a young ape goes on a journey that will lead him to question everything he's been taught about the past and make choices that will define a future for all humans and apes. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And this is a 2024 review of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. You don't get these very much on my channel, guys. Uh, 2024 review, but I won tickets to see this. You guys know I've been going through all the Apes movies. I know we got to get to war still, but I'm going to give you a review today of Kingdom for the Planet of the Apes, then go back to war, then do a big ranking. So first of all, before we get into the movie... My theater experience with this was awesome because I got to see like a press screening or an advanced screening and two of the actors were there, um, Kevin Durant and Owen Teague. So that was pretty amazing. I was like five rows up, saw it on the IMAX, and I suggest all of you see this movie on the IMAX because it's, it was a fun time. This movie was a lot of fun, really enjoyed it. I'm not saying it's perfect. You know, the, the previous three films... The Matt Reeves films and the Rupert Wyatt Rise of the Apes. The, the, these movies are are masterpieces to me. It's a masterpiece trilogy. It's the best trilogy ever put on screen as far as I'm concerned. If you're just looking at three movies. So I think it's really unfair to compare it to that. I think it's trying to do its own thing by continuing that story many years later. If you look at all the franchises that are fucking up all over the place. Look at, Look what this is doing. It's showing everyone solid writing, acting, the motion capture, you know, continuity. Thank you. You know what I mean? And just giving us a, a making this franchise even better and opening up the world even more. So Kingdom of the Planet for the Apes, released in 2024, directed by Wes Bell and starring Owen Teague, Freya Allen and Kevin Duran. I'm going to try my best not to spoil anything for you guys. So I'll probably just, you know, glaze over a lot of stuff. And all that when it comes to this movie but the first thing beautiful looking film absolutely stunning looking film cinematography on point immersing us into this world into this ape society it was simply fantastic man i think if you're a fan of the original planet of the apes it's going to feel more in line with that you know with you know the uh apes hunting down the humans and catching them in nets and scenes like that you know what i mean and seeing how far the apes have come i just thought it was amazing in their culture we got noah's clan and they're a clan that raises birds i thought that was so cool they have a lot of beauty in their culture you know what i mean they're 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 inheriting this world and and just doing the best they can to make it this peaceful world, right? What has happened in this ape society? It's very biblical, if you know what I mean. Like it's like when when Adam and Eve got thrown out of Garden of Eden, then there was like there was tribes, human tribes everywhere. If you read the Bible, and they were all worn with each other. So it, it seems like the chimpanzees stick to their own clans and everything, and then the gorillas got their own society, and then we get a, a character, a orangutan, which we'll talk about. And so it's it's kind of like that. It's very biblical. We're seeing this birth of this civilization and see how they're growing. And I think that's great. I think they they have wrote themselves and, and nestled themselves into a nice spot because you think about it. You know, you think about from Rise of the Apes. Remember, we saw the newspaper saying astronauts are lost in space. We could keep doing these trilogies, releasing them over time and over this franchise. We could actually see... The astronauts come to the planet of the apes, Earth, and through the ape society's perspective. So I think the writers, they got themselves in a sweet spot right now. It's a great coming of age story. Noah is this ape who has to save his clan from what we are labeled as the bad guys, as, as this gorilla tribe led by Proximus Caesar. And he has to grow up and be more than he thinks he can be. He has this great relationship with his father. And he wants to live up to his father and stuff like that. And you, so I think he's relatable in that sense. I think it's really they did a wonderful job with his, with his character. I just think we need to see him grow more. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping there'll be more movies. Let's hope this movie makes more money. But there's still this really big dynamic between humans and apes, and the you know that that argument of who's gonna 
who deserves the world more? Can they live in this world and occupy it together? Now, there's this human character of May played by Frey Allen, and I did like her at the probably most of the movie. Um, and she is kind of representing that questions everything the Abes were taught, thought they knew about humans and everything. But I have a name. May. There's some decisions she makes that I, I for me, I'm kind of mixed on her. I'm like, well, I didn't I didn't like the decision she made and didn't make me like her. So I'm interested to see, well, where are they going with her, though? So this the little mixed on her. The person who steals this movie, at least one of them, is uh, an orangutan named Raka. He is absolutely charming. He is so full of warmth and he's like the the protector of Caesar's teachings. He's the one keeping the true Caesar's te teachings alive because Caesar was like this Messiah figure. His teachings have all been contorted and they've been used for the wrong reasons and all that kind of stuff. It's really uh, interesting because I think a, a lot of it is that's the way it would go. Right. And the movie's really about your, you know, legacy and, and learning from your past mistakes. And how do you learn from that and carry forward, you know, working to form a, a good civilization, you know, a good society of apes. But Raka, this orangutan, is really that your connection to Caesar. That's where a lot of his spirit exudes from. And I just love this character. I thought, you know, he was funny. He's smart. He's just a, he was a really, really cool character. So I really liked him. The villain was great. Kevin Durant as Proximus Caesar. You know, he's the runs this kingdom of the planet of the apes, you know, is taking over and he had so much charisma. There's a line he says in this movie that's in the preview that's in the trailer uh, where he goes, what a wonderful day. And I think this is going to be one of the most quotable lines in this franchise. What a wonderful day. Like the way he says it, I think everyone like I'm already saying it all the time now going, what a wonderful day. So Really, really great performance by him. I really liked his character. I do feel like the movie was a little long. Like, I don't mind long movies, but the pacing just started to really, really slow up when they were being taken to Proximus Caesar. And there was a lot of just, you know, it lulled a lot. You know what I mean? It was just slowed right down. You know, we're introduced to a character at uh, a human character at Proximus Caesar's kingdom that I felt didn't serve any of the story, the William H. Macy's character. Um, that's all I really say about him. And you're going to see a lot of little homages and Easter eggs to the Planet of the Idiots franchise that you, you'll definitely notice if you are a big fan of this franchise. One particular scene, this is not a spoiler or anything, but it's like a bridge scene and they, they're coming up to a bridge and there's an action sequence that takes place and they see all the, you know, the crucifixes from the, what were, you know, where apes were crucified in the original movie. They're the X's, you know what I mean? And then that old Jerry Goldsmith uh, score starts coming in from the original Plan of the Apes. I just love that. I thought that was really cool, the, the way they uh, paid homage to that. And they leave the movie opening, definitely opening for another sequel. I could see that by they, they're foreshadowing some stuff that could be very, very interesting, I think. Like, I'm not sure where they're going to go with it. But it, it, I think it could be very, very interesting. And the CGI and motion capture is still stunning um, as far as I'm concerned. It, it it looks great. You know, getting the performances locked down first to make that CGI look so great. So they have just an outstanding uh, creative team on, on this latest um, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes movie. I'm still a little mixed on the final confrontation at the ending. I feel like it's anticlimactical in a way. Even though everything logically makes sense, it does suit the characters and everything, but I felt like there just could have been more to it to really bring up the character of Noah. I had a lot of fun with this movie. It was a great theater experience, and I definitely suggest go see Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I'm going to give Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes a solid B. So that's going to do it for me, guys, but let me know in the comments if you've already seen it. Um... Let's talk in the comments. Let's try to keep the, the spoilers out of the comments for other people. If we could do that, that'd be great. And I'll put uh, more apes reviews on the end card there. And we'll try to finish up this series with war and a big ranking. My name is Jason. You're watching Backtrack Cinema. I will see you next time and I will see you in the movies. Cheers.